Hello friends, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be talking about the Dragon Beauty Dragon Fire Color Correcting Product. Skin Perfecting Potion, that's it. Dragon Fire Skin Perfecting Potion. If you saw me open my BoxyCharm, or was it BoxyCharm Premium this month, I received this product. I was very confused by it because this is not a lip product, this is a color correcting product, and I was fascinated by it. I wanted to do some more research into it, and I did. I have been using this for a week. I am going to tell you a little bit about the product. I am going to show me applying it in first impression, um, and then I'm going to show me applying it today, and then I'm going to tell you what I think of this product and who I think it may be beneficial for, if anyone at all. I've not reviewed anything from Dragon Beauty before. It is, as far as I know, a relatively new brand. I think it was launched this year. I seem to remember when it was launched and I think she also had a pop-up store in LA. Um, I don't watch Nikita Dragon, but she is a uh, influencer. She has a YouTube channel. She has a lot of Instagram followers. I think she tends to be a little involved in drama here and there. Um, but she started this line of products. I think there's like an eyeshadow palette, a few other things. Um, and this product, which is quite interesting. The tagline of Dragon Beauty is welcome to the fantasy. Dragon Beauty is a groundbreaking cosmetics brand inspired by our founders engaging, elevating an everyday story of growth, glamour, and groundedness. Digital in our DNA, we're all about empowering beauty lovers of all shapes, skin tones, and sexualities as we journey along the road to self-discovery, unleashing the fantasy within, which sounds awesome. It also makes it sound like it's being written from another point of view, like she's their founder, but it's the company talking, which is kind of an interesting difference to have instead of it being in the founder's voice. Nikita's bio. Nikita Dragon is unapologetic and unafraid of being her most authentic self, Growing up in the middle of nowhere, Virginia, Nikita escaped to her fantasy land through makeup, but always felt like there was something missing. It wasn't long before Nikita realized it wasn't real life she wanted to escape, but her fantasy she wanted to live. Nikita now wants to help everyone else live their fantasy. So I kind of like that. It's a pretty good little founder story, a little bit different about, you know, their point of view, and I like the idea of fantasy and empowering everybody. So she has two products. She has this and a face palette. Uh, and I did see a number of people sort of receiving the face palette in PR. I tend to like to watch other people's PR unboxings because I get an idea of what's new and what's out there. So this product, the Dragonfire Skin Perfecting Potion, is $25 US, so it's on the pricier side. It only does come in this one shade. And the description says, Personally formulated by the Mother of Dragons, Dragon Fire works well on all skin tones and helps to conceal, correct, and perfect the appearance of dark circles, discoloration, and blemishes. Infused with light reflecting mattifying powers to brighten and blur, this formula diffuses imperfections to create a photo-filtered fantasy in real life. Saturated with vitamin E and vitamin A, Dragon Fire blends effortlessly and offers fully customizable light to full coverage. Dragonfire is the first step in Nikita's skin perfecting system, acting as a second skin and the primer to the primer. Neutralizes everything from purple, blue, gray discoloration to dark circles and beyond, promotes optimal skin health with almond oil, shea butter, and added emulsions, and creates the perfect layer for light, medium, and full coverage foundations, and it is vegan and cruelty free. It was helpful for me to read the tips and tricks on this because you'll see in my first impression that I was only trying to use it to conceal under eyes, but there are other ways of using this product. So the tips and tricks could begin by saying that a little goes a long way, so start light and then blend to your desired result. Dragon Fire works best where the sun doesn't hit. For optimal results, take a bare face selfie in direct light to see where you want to brighten, then apply to shadowy areas. Application areas include under the eyes, around the nose, near the jawline, and smile lines. For a contoured effect, create a defined line along the jawline. And when applied, give the product a moment to set. Dragon Fire will stay in place and not mix with your foundation. Having read all of that, I think this is a really interesting and unique product. Let me show you my first impression day of it, where I didn't know some of that information. I then tested it for a week. I then applied it today using some of the tips and tricks um, that were described there. Although I will mention that using it through the last week, I was good at letting it set before I put any foundation over top of it. So it is literally Monday morning right now at 7.30. I usually head out of the house at like 
So I'm putting my makeup on and I'm gonna give this a go. And this is like real. I'm heading to work after this. So I'm really hoping that this color corrector doesn't go terribly, terribly wrong, but I want the chance to try it out for a week before I do an actual review. So here we go. I'm gonna go in with a very small amount, but let me zoom you in so you can see. I don't have huge dark circles under my eyes, so I'm gonna try to be very, like not use a lot of this. I feel like even that may be too much. Well, let's blend and see. Here's the thing, it's actually balling up and flaking a little bit there, if you can see that, which is not ideal. And uh, you know, it's not like I've used, I actually haven't used any eye cream today. Hmm. I'm gonna go, um, usually I would put on my foundation, then my concealer. I did this step first because I wanted to give it some time to set, but I'm gonna go put on my foundation and then come back to put on my concealer. So, I mean, I just used a very thin layer of BB cream today, and I'm just looking sick with this orange under my eyes. I just feel like I've given myself an extra layer of stuff to cover. So I'm going in with my Benefit Erase Paste, and I usually just do this with my finger. I still feel like I can see orange. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like it's just mixed with the concealer to make it a slightly oranger. Hmm. Okay. I'll go finish up my makeup and then show you what this looks like at the end. Also, in case you're wondering, yes, that is a giant pile of laundry behind me. What can I say? It's the morning. I don't have time to make everything look perfect. I feel like I can still see slight tinges of orange around the outsides of my eyes, and I don't love it. I feel like it's making me look a little sickly. But I'm going to wear this through the day today, and then I'm also going to test it in coming days with like different concealers and also sort of like half face and see if I can see the difference. Um, but so far, I just feel like this has made my concealer look worse. I should also mention that after reading the tips and tricks, I started thinking about places that I would like to brighten. One of the things, and this happens when you look so up close at your own face all the time, I have some darkening of the skin on my upper lip. Drives me nuts. I remove like the fuzz from my upper lip, so it's not that it's a dark hair that's growing there. I just have a darker discoloration of my upper lip, which I hate because it makes it look like I have hair on my upper lip and I don't. So when I heard about the tips and tricks and using it to brighten areas, I thought maybe this would be like my lifesaver for brightening that discoloration on my lip. And now on to today's application. I'm going to try my best today to make this work as well as possible. As I mentioned, I have been testing this for a while, so I am going to share what I experienced from this in terms of many days of testing it. Um, and you've seen the first impression day, but because I learned since then that it's not only for under eyes, it's also for other areas of the face, uh, I want to show you that to see if what kind of difference you can see. So I am sorry that my, even with the face filter turned off, my camera tends to try to blur my skin a little bit. So I'm gonna zoom in because that tends to take the blur off. And what I have found, at least for my under eyes, because I don't have super purpley bags or anything, I need to be very, very light touch with this. And actually, if I wasn't here and holding all this, I would normally dab a little bit onto my finger and then dab it under my eye. So I put that on, that may even be too much. I also want to brighten this area a little and hit on my upper lip darkness. I 
and a little bit in my smile line there. Now I'm going to tap this out and try to just keep it on the dark areas. So I think I've mostly targeted it right in the area where the darkness is. If I go out here, it's not a good look. I may have put a bit too much around my nose there, but we'll see. And then right on my dark spot there, and then a bit into that smile line I have. And it's hard, <laughs> this is a look, it's hard to not have it sort of blend further than you want it to when you're targeting larger areas. So, Focus on me. <laughs> now it's not even, it's like, that's not a face. So this is a look. I am going to let this set for a minute or two uh, to just to make sure that it is set. And then we will put on my foundation and take a look together at the difference from one side to the other. Now, because I wanna make sure that I really don't move this around, I'm going to go with my foundation, but I'm going to do it on a beauty sponge so that the motion is a little bit more tapping than spreading because I usually like to use a brush. Um, I'm going to use my CoverGirl Outlast. It's not the most high coverage foundation, but I don't tend to wear high coverage foundations, so hopefully this will work and not let too much of the orange show through. So I'm just gonna start in the back of my hand. And I am going to start and do my foundation on the side without the product. So again, I don't spread anything over. And yeah, I know this beauty blender is dirty. I was using it earlier today. I actually put makeup on because I was testing some other stuff and then took it off so that I could do my makeup on camera. So I'm gonna go over this with concealer because that's what I would normally do. Not really bring my foundation up there. So I'm gonna keep going over this area because I feel like it's actually made it darker rather than taking anything away. Okay, and now some concealer. And I'm using my Benefit Erase Paste. It's a pretty high coverage concealer. And I normally tap this out a little bit with my finger. And then I can also blend it with a beauty blend it with a beauty blender afterwards. I feel like you can still totally see the orange in my nose crease. Even though I did try to get in there. So I feel like at this point we can mostly see the difference it's made and this has been a total fail. I feel like if anything I see that more than I usually do and I'm gonna have to go back over that with concealer. It's made me look just a little bit more orange here. Like I feel like I can still see the orange. I do think that maybe it has lightened up the bluish bag there a little bit. But again, I've pulled a little bit of the orange out here by accident, which kind of makes me look a little bit sickly. So yeah. Let's get on with the rest of the review. Unfortunately, this product is just not for me. It doesn't mean it's not for anyone, but it's not for me. So you saw, I hope, when I tried to use it in areas around my nose or on my upper lip discoloration, it almost highlighted those areas. It made my upper lip almost look deeper and around my nose, it just kind of stayed looking orange. It was hard to cover, at least with the kind of foundation that I use. I did find that if I was very good at placing it in just the like bluish part of like my under eye bags, that it did help to brighten a little. However, if I ever accidentally got it out here, which I kind of did almost every time, I would keep looking at myself in the mirror and thinking like, oh, I look sick today. Like I look like I had like darker circles down here under my eyes, which I never usually have. 
it just I don't know if I needed to use higher coverage foundation or if it's just because I don't have super dark circles under my eyes plus I have a fairly light skin tone that it didn't work for me I also found that when I was using it under my eyes even though it did minimally like it would be really hard for anybody to actually notice that one side was brighter than the other it caused my concealer to crease more because I was having an extra layer of product under there I do however think that if you are somebody who has very dark blue or like black or whatever you know purpley kind of bags under your eyes that this might be really good at helping to neutralize that to then put concealer on top of it. I think that this is a high powered color corrector. And because of that, someone like me who doesn't have a huge amount to color correct, it just takes it way too far into orange territory. But if you are somebody who has like very deep bags under your eyes, or dark bags under your eyes, then this may be good for you. I also think that if you naturally have a deeper complexion than I do, then this may be closer to your skin tone and therefore it won't be as stark of a difference. So it may be a better color corrector overall. Just for me, with my not so dark under eye bags and very fair skin, this just ended up being something that was harder to conceal than the actual imperfections I was trying to conceal. And so for that reason, this unfortunately does not do it for me. I hope this review is helpful for you. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you have also tried this or do color correcting, I'm never somebody who's gotten into color correcting. Let me know your experience down below in the comments. Thank you so much for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.